Night Witch Mortis being forced to play modifiers in Showdown. Launch pads in Gem Grab. What about Carl? That's what we're going to talk about in today's 100% honest update review. Hope you guys enjoy. Now, before we jump into this, one of the biggest issues that Brawl Stars has right now, which is something I'm actually going to touch on later in this video, is the solo player experience. Mainly, that difficulty of finding new people that you can actually play with and count on to do well rather than being forced to play with randoms. That's actually something that the sponsor for today's video has a solution for. Rune is an app that helps you find like-minded players to play Brawl Stars with. It works by matching you with other players that want to play the same way as you, whether that is just to chill and have some fun, or if you're actually serious about pushing trophies. It has a smart matchmaking algorithm that helps you find other players with similar trophy counts and that speak the same language as you. It then puts you in a voice chat so that you can pick the best brawlers for the specific map you're playing and strategize while you are playing. You don't even need a separate device because Rune will actually run in the background while you play Brawl Stars. You can download Rune using the link below or by searching Rune Voice in your Android or iOS app store. Make sure you guys go download Rune and then stay tuned for a community post where I'll actually be announcing a time where you can come play with me over voice on Rune. Okay guys, I swear I do these 100% honest update reviews differently for every single update. Today we're going to start with the most controversial topics, and then we'll move on to the things that I obviously love, and then we'll end with kind of like a, a state of the game talk and talk about what I think we can expect for the future of Brawl Stars, as well as some things that I'm still hoping for in future updates. Let's start off by talking about <laughs> this, uh, this thing. <laughs> Night Witch Mortis. Funny, embarrassing story. One time in high school, I was in a, in a high school musical, and to, to be funny, I dressed up as a girl, and uh, it was a dress, we we stuffed, um, well, anyway, as I don't need to go into the details, but it was awkward, but it was funny. At first, when I saw Night Witch Mortis, I was like, oh, that's weird. Uh, that is weird, but after taking some time to mess around with it, especially seeing how, like, epic the in-game animations are for it um i think that uh, i think that can appreciate the good laugh from it there is still some awkwardness with the skin but i think it's pretty hilarious okay guys now let's talk about showdown moving exclusively to the second slot with modifiers being the only option at times now i've read a lot of comments on this situation of people thinking that this is bad for showdown uh, i can see a lot of uh, the reasons why people would think this especially because it does some of the game event mods do take away from the competitiveness of the game or take away from the skill of showdown well my argument is that teaming in showdown removes way more skill than mods do and if supercell's not going to do bans to try and remove teaming from showdown event mods makes the most sense to removing teaming from showdown i think they could even bring life leech back into the game or even modify it so that rather than just like constantly losing health you actually just don't ever heal without dealing damage to an enemy player additionally some other cool event mods could be added to the game to try and prevent teaming for example i would love an event mod where whenever you take out a player they actually drop two to three power cubes on death so it's a lot more rewarding for you to actually take enemy players out rather than teaming with them also i'm sure that you guys could come up with some great event modifiers to try and remove teaming from showdown or at least to make it so that it is not the most viable and best strategy to pushing trophies in showdown anyways guys my whole point here is that while event mods do remove some of the competitiveness from showdown showdown with event mods is better it's higher skill it's more competitive than showdown with teaming okay guys now let's talk about balance changes okay balance changes i really like a lot of the balance changes that supercell made i think that they did a lot of good balancing for brawlers that really needed to but it's funny because the only issue that I have with the most recent balance changes is that I feel like they need to they needed to hit things a little bit harder um, I would love to see crow even stronger than he is now so he could actually be competitive outside of showdown I also think the Pam is still a very strong powerhouse uh, on top of that I think they really could give gene a really solid buff okay he's still uh, is not a very good brawler. He actually has a lot of mechanics that work against him, like the fact that he has a grab, but he doesn't have the burst damage or the health to be able to, be able to handle grabbing the majority of the brawlers in a one-on-one -on -one fight. So I'd love to see his super actually do deal damage again, and a lot more than it did before. Additionally, I'd love to see his star power either increase in radius or make it so that it heals himself whenever he also heals teammates. Okay, guys, now let's talk about Siege. I love Siege. <laughs> Siege 
is seriously so much fun. I love seeing the variety of different brawlers that are good for the mode. Um, it's a really cool mode. My only issue with it is that I don't think that it should be worth double the rewards as it is right now. The time in Siege is not twice the, the time of a normal match, at least not for the majority of the time. Typically matches in a mode end around a minute 45 to two minutes, and some modes are a little bit different, but I think that's about where the sweet spot is. In Siege, I would say that the average is two and a half to three minutes with the occasional match going longer. Typically one team just outpowers the other team, and it's not as back and forth leading to a four and a half minute match. And because of how quickly a good team can actually do in Siege, top players grind Siege very hard. And since there aren't as many top players in the world as there are other players, that means that they face people with lower trophies than they do. This means that the top players climb even faster and the other players lose even more. I think one and a half times more than normal rewards should be good. Or another option is to actually increase the turret's health which would adversely increase the duration of a match so that it would be easier for you to actually have comebacks in the game. Launch pads. I love launch pads. <laughs> They're so fun. They add a whole other level of strategy to the game mode and I think it is a blast. There's absolutely a reason now for tankier brawlers to actually like go on a launch pad and jump into the middle of the match when people are not expecting it. I think it's hilarious. And while I'm glad that it's not on every single map, I'm really glad to see Brawl Stars getting some more diversity to the maps. I would actually really love to see more interactive stuff in the future similar to launch pads. I also really loved all of the new maps that they've added into the game. I am so, so, so stoked about the do not disturb function. I have been begging for this. So thank you, Supercell. If no one has thanked you for this, Thank you from Kairos time, from the bottom of my heart. You guys are amazing. I also really like the fact that you can now sort uh, brawlers when you're actually selecting them. I do hope that they actually add an alphabetical sorting feature. Um, I know that most players are not maxed out like I am, but as a max player with every brawler at 500 and above, there's not really a reason for me to sort by power level or closest rank or rarity. So alphabetical would actually make the most sense for me. Let's talk about Carl. I'm really excited about Carl. Um, I've done a full breakdown on all of his mechanics and include a lot of things that other people have missed. I'm actually really loving the fact that Supercell has added three new brawlers into the game that have completely different mechanics that have been in the past. We had Leon with his invisibility, Gene with his pull, Carl with his one ammo shot that looks like a boomerang. I'm slightly worried about him being a little bit too strong in the meta, but I think that he'll be okay. I honestly don't know. Uh, because I said that Leon was going to be just fine. I said that Gene was going to be OP. And <laughs> at this point, I don't know if you can trust me with how strong Carl is going to be. To be fair, I only really get to test these brawlers out against bots. And bots are kind of stupid, so... Okay, guys, we've talked about this most recent update. Now let's talk about the state of the game, and I will talk about what I want in the future of Brawl Stars. Overall, I am very happy with this update. I'm mostly... Really impressed with how quickly Supercell actually released this update. During my last update honest review, I talked a lot about the infrequency of actual content coming into Brawl Stars updates, and I also talked about how that is the number one piece of feedback that Supercell gets across all of their games. It's obviously an issue that needed to be addressed. The good news is that Supercell has listened to this feedback and they have taken measures up against this, okay? Ilka Pananen, I don't know how to say his name, it's Finnish, so that makes it even harder. But he's the CEO of Supercell, um, and he recently did a blog post about Supercell in 2019, and he talked about how they recognized that this was the biggest flaw to their small team ideals. Um, they've decided to actually start outsourcing some of their content creation in order to speed up the process of creating more content, more updates for their games. This is why I think that we've been seeing so many new skins recently, and I am loving them. The cool thing is, is they also seem to be getting better at actually making cooler skins. And I think right now the game is in a very good state and it will continue to be in a very good state for the next four to six months if Supercell can keep up this new rate of content. With that being said, I think that there are some glaring issues with Brawl Stars right now that need to be fixed before a lot of the global player base reads mid-game 
and Endgame. For starters, like I mentioned earlier in today's video, I think that Supercell really needs to greatly improve the solo experience for Brawl Stars, okay? They need to do something to make it so that playing with randoms is not so frustrating. Whether that is allowing players to get teamed up together before entering a match so that they can actually select a good team comp, or maybe even requesting uh, to be matched up with uh, certain brawlers as teammates. So like, let's say I want a Terra on my team. Like I can specifically request, all I'd be, I'd love to play with a Terra or a Shelly or a Dynamite, whatever. I don't know why that just the first three brawlers that popped into my head. And then the matchmaking would actually like put you with players that want to play those brawlers. And then you can kind of like preemptively form team comps without actually having to talk with other people and actually discuss it. Maybe, it would be an option for you to actually change your brawler after you've played with a, a team and want to hit the play again button with them so that you can actually form a solid comp. Because sometimes I'll play with people in the random queue that are very skilled, but our team comp is like missing a gem carrier or like we have no tank or any way to deal with like a popular brawler that is played on a specific map. And there's no way to, to counteract that. And so I just have to like, unless I like make become friends with them but my friends list is full so that's an issue um and yeah you guys get the idea like there's a lot of flaws with the current solo experience i also think that they really need to do something to address teaming in solo showdown i've already talked about this in one of my recent videos so i'm not going to go in depth here but if they are not willing to do bans for teaming which i can understand the reasons why bans might be um not the best way to go about it but they need to do something to make teaming and showdown a less effective strategy than it is if they do not it will lead to decrease player retention. Another thing that really needs to be addressed is they need to have a fix for end game economy and give a reason for max players to push. Here's the deal. I know that most of you guys are not maxed out. I know that most of you guys do not have 500 trophies for every single brawler, but in a year or two, the player base that will have maxed out accounts is going to be way bigger than it is right now. There are actually a lot of players that have been playing completely free to play since the beta who have maxed out accounts because they have been playing literally every day and they love the the game. At this point, there is zero incentive for me or any of them to actually get on and actually play some matches every day and grab your tokens, other than the fact that like we know that a new brawler will come into the game and we will need more boxes for that. Personally, I think the simplest solution, I don't know if this is the best solution, but the simplest is at least to make it so that you can buy new skins uh, with gold or when you actually unlock a new brawler for you to choose, you have a one-time option. Let's say I just recently unlocked Carl. At that point, something pops up and is like, would you like to spend some of your gold in order to purchase power points? Or how much gold would you like to spend on power points for this new brawler? And maybe it even gives you an option of straight up outright buying the new max brawler for an X amount of dollars or whatever, you know, there's like a little slider or something like that. Like that is something that would make it much less frustrating for me as a maxed out player. It is legitimately a waste when a new brawler comes out and I open up 500 boxes before getting that new brawler. Every one of those 500 boxes is a complete waste of my gameplay. And that's very frustrating. And it will happen to new players that are playing right now if Supercell does not address that. Now on top of these issues that I've addressed, here's what I'm also hoping for in five to six months. These aren't big issues, but just some stuff that I think needs to happen. Uh, I'm hoping that we continue to get new brawlers every one to two months. Personally, I would love this every single month this year, but I know that that may not be realistic. If Supercell continues to release new brawlers at the rate they've released Leon, Jean, and will release Carl, I would actually be pretty happy with that. I'm hoping also that we do get to see another competitive game mode in three to five months. I would love a 5v5 game mode. I would also love another two-person game mode. I would also love it if Supercell figured out how to make a truly balanced and competitive solo mode that does not encourage teaming. I would be absolutely ecstatic about that, and that sounds like a ton of fun, especially because the big reason why people like Showdown so much is because you don't have to rely on other teammates in order for you to do well. I'm also hoping to get a lot more new skins. Granted, I do want some more of the cheaper 30 gem skins. Overall, I think that this update was a major success, but I also want to know what you guys think about this update, okay? Please drop a comment below. I don't just say that to try and get more comments on my videos. That doesn't really matter that much. I legitimately, I think you guys would actually be surprised at how much I actually read the comments. I probably do a good one to two hours of reading my comments every single day. So uh, please let me know what you thought about this update and what you would like to see in the future of Brawl Stars. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube members and Patreon sponsors for helping support my channel in such a big way. And also once again to Rune for sponsoring this video. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by and we will see you in Brawl Stars.